If you're waking up tired in the morning or you're struggling with cognitive decline or you snore, or for some reason your sleep is interrupted, maybe not for urination, but you're waking up frequently at night, get a sleep study. Sleep is profoundly impactful on brain health. And so you have to be aggressive. You have to be assertive and you need to advocate for yourself in this regard because a lot of people will go to primary care providers or neurologists who will not mention this as a factor. Absolutely. This is so important. Dr. Sanson's given us you know, thousands of dollars of, of, of information that you can use to save you a bunch of doctor visits. You, you, she's outlined this in detail. So not outlined, but written this in detail in your book, Reversing Alzheimer's. So please get that book. It's a fantastic investment in your health and, 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 your, and your, your family's health. What are some of your top supplements that, for people that are interested in, in, in a healthy brain that you like to recommend to patients? Well, I love your lion's mane. I think you've done a really great job getting a high quality, potent, and, and a good dose, a therapeutic dose for mood, for cognition, and for sleep benefits. Um, I take your lion's mane Thank personally, you. get benefit from it. So really appreciate that. I also love Qualia Mind, which I took some of it this morning in advance of our conversation. So Qualia Mind is another one that I am a big fan of. And this one is, it's, it's a nootropic blend. It now contains a little bit of lion's mane, but I think taking some extra, it's helpful as well. Fish oils, vitamin D, if you're not on a blood thinner, if you can add the K2 so that it's also helpful for bones. And then, so lion's mane, Qualia Mind, fish oils, vitamin D with K2, and then probiotics.